Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR Family Gaming video. This is Droid TDR and today we're going to take a look at one of the builds that I have made from the spookier Fall Trials. Let me show you what we're going to be using today, but first let's take a quick look at what it looks like at the beginning of Arch Haven. Yes, this is initial life count is set to 1. The player has burning arrows and the melee mobs have poison clouds. So this is what I'm wearing. You can see I'm wearing the cauldron armor and I've got chilling. I've got health synergy and I've got fire focus. So chilling helps slow down everyone. You can see already the cauldron armor has great extra melee damage, has great damage negation 30% and 35% damage reduction. It does take a while to roll though. Hey, it's a cauldron. Come on, right? Then I've also got the health synergy, which means anytime I use an artifact, I gain a tiny bit of health. And then because this is a fire uh, trial, it gives you an extra perk on fire. I figured what the heck, let's add some extra, extra damage for fire focus, but I'm probably not really going to use this as a uh, enchantment on any other build just for this one particular trial. Second thing. Fighter's Bindings. This is the lawnmower part. This is crazy, crazy fast fighting. Look at the speed on that thing. Basically, you're getting criticals all the time. You're getting radiance almost all the time. And you're getting swirling to do damage for people, not just that you're hitting, but people to the side and behind you also. So lots and lots of damage and it's super, super fast. So you add a mushroom on that and oh boy, lawnmower effect. Okay. Now let's look at the bow, burst bowstring. I love it because when you roll, you roll away and you do some damage. And uh, you know what? Sometimes, especially when you've got the fire focus and you've got that uh, fire on the daily trial, this can be nice. You can get three people damaged uh, at once and uh, get a little bit of burning action going on as well. So if this is a super powerful bow, it can do some pretty major damage in and of itself. But let's look at this. Now, if I actually aim the shot and I hold it down a little while, I get four times the damage. And if you already see, the damage is like 415 to 665,000 already. So if I do four times that, it's like 30,000 at the max range. Okay, pretty dang good. Or 24 to 27,000. Anyways. And we've also got refreshment here, which basically every time you use a health potion, I'm sorry, every time a mob dies, my health potion recharge uh, time reduces a little bit. And then I've got double mushrooms and a satchel. Satchel I'm using mostly for a little bit of crowd control and because it's got the uh, third of a chance of doing fire damage and I've got an extra fire um, bonus on my armor, I figure that could help. Right? So check this out. Mushrooms, if I have two mushrooms with this build, you can basically alternate them. So whenever you notice you're slowing down, you use the other mushroom and blam. And as long as you're not stuck in a poison cloud, you can usually get all of your health back when you get any sort of mob that you can just kind of stand there and beat upon because the chilling slows them down so they get less of a chance to hit you. And when they do, oh my gosh, they really pack a wall up. But less of a chance to hit you. The satchel does that massive burst of damage for the lightning. It also does the fire damage. So who knows, maybe that'll help also because I've got the fire focus. And then here I go. Can I actually beat these guys up without being in their fire rings? I think I can, but I actually did, did step into the fire rings a little bit. And I barely have any health left. So there we go. That's the time to use the potion. Then there we go. Also, Satchel. Do a little damage there. Okay. And my health is just fine. Thank you very much. So this Cauldron Armor build is pretty OP. It is just basically a reskinned version of the full metal armor, the full metal uh, gear. Unfortunately, I think I gave away uh, my last full metal gear uh, to to read, so I couldn't show an exact comparison in this video. But if you look back on the the video where we first got the cauldron armor, you can see it's exactly the same thing, just reskinned to look like a really cool cauldron. So, here we go. Look at this lawnmower effect. Oh, one of my mushrooms ran out, so I was going to use the other one. And uh, luckily, they all got stuck right there, so easy peasy. 
Sometimes the enchanted mobs are a little tricky if you can't get them stuck somewhere. But these ones, no problem at all. And look at that fire. Extra fire damage just taking those guys down. And every time you see the red number, of course, that's a critical hit. And since I've got a 20% chance of that happening and a 20% chance of healing, I'm just I'm just clearing through these guys pretty pretty much like butter. I mean, look how fast and how rapidly you sh you you punch. And even though it's not a ton of damage with each punch, holy smokes, you get healed and they do tend to get wrecked pretty quickly. And I have to use my roll judiciously. I'm used to having a multi-roll. So, first bow I can only use once every now and then. Uh, and it's it's okay. I mean, I'd prefer if the armor instead of fire focus, if the armor had something like a cooldown or a um, reduce your roll recharge speed or multi roll, that would be super super awesome. So let's hope maybe when I uh, maybe when I finish this dungeon, maybe that's what we'll get. I don't know. This is a run for cauldron armor again, so maybe it'll have better enchantments. But either way, you can see that this isn't too bad the way it is. The damage negation, the damage reduction for the cauldron armor, I'm somewhat of a tank. And then having the double mushrooms so I can just basically lawnmower through them with healing and criticals. And every now and then if I see a big group of mobs or a major um, possibility of dying, you use the satchel to help reduce that, that threat. And this works pretty darn well. I've been pretty happy with this build. Not, not uh, the same as my splendid satchel build, but this is not. This is actually pretty fun. Uh, and if, as long as I can stay away from those gosh darn poison clouds for this challenge, then this should be not too bad. Not too bad at all. And look at that. The fire focus is doing extra damage there. I've only got fire arrows. That's part of this uh, this daily trial, or I'm sorry, this spookier trial is to have the fire arrows. So that's why I've got the fire focus on the armor. Generally, I don't know what else I would put on. I forget what else was in that third slot, but uh, probably after these challenges, I'll probably retire this, maybe try and upgrade it a little bit and um, uh, see what else was in that third slot. But let's go, let's go. Oh no, I got stuck. I got stuck and I'm in a poison cloud. No, 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 it's the worst. That's the absolute worst. I now. This challenge, you only have two lives, so this is my last life now. Oh dear. All right, all right, easy peasy. Little creeper, no bigs. All right, I'm, I'm in the habit of getting all emeralds simply because I usually have Death Barter on as one of my enchants for my splendid robes. But in this one, I do not have that, but I've still got the habit of going to grab all the emeralds just in case it could save my life. So, all right, here we are down in the bottom area. We got across the bridge. Let's see where we are up against. Look, I'm using my void bow with the triple charge, four or th three or four times charging. One, two, three, fire, and bam. And sometimes they explode. So that's kind of fun. Sometimes the arrows explode with this bow. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three, bam. Two, three, bam. Nice. So I've got the fire effect as part of the challenge, but then what are these guys? Oh, they deflect. Oh no, they'll hurt me if I keep shooting them. I can't roll. I can't shoot them. I better punchy punch them. Come on, lawnmower. Here we go, lawnmower man. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go grab this chest, see it, get some emeralds again. Bad habit. Actually, not bad habit. Good habit. Good habit, but not effective for the whole... Uh, death barter. All right, here we are. Final stage, Apocalypse 25. Trying to get onto the ship, and here we go. A full health, a full healing potion. One roll done there. Let's go. Let's go. Uh oh, better use a heal. Not bad. Not bad. All right, can we get some crits? Can we get some heals up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, look at that. Just plowing through them like butter. Warm butter. And then we grab this, and something I forgot to do at the very end of this round was change my gear to be the highest possible gear so that when I go to the lobby, all the vendors might also have higher possible gear. My bad, my goof, but let's see what we got. We've got a 
New cauldron armor, 253. Awesome. Same level as what I got, but maybe it's got better enchants. And yes, sir. That's what I'm looking for. We've got the final shout, which I love. Uh, we've got a multi roll, which I also love, but oh no, I have to decide chilling or not. So then, hmm, what is this rush thing? Uh, when I take damage, I get to go fast. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not so thrilled about that one. I am a tank. I will be taking damage. I don't need to run away. Reckless, though, not so much a fan. Beast boss, I, I'm not usually having beasts with this armor. Uh, protection, that could make me a little tankier. So what would I use on this one if I were to use it? It'd probably be chilling or multi-roll. Multi-roll if I have burst bow. And probably the final shout and the protection, I think. That's what I would use. If I use that armor, that's what I would use. All right, well, hopefully you liked the Lawnmower Cauldron Tank Set. Have you used something like that in one of your builds? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you all for watching. We will see ya in the next one.